How often do you acknowledge your partner when they're trying to make a connection with you? This could be them attempting to make a joke, commenting on a TikTok video, or reaching out to hold your hand. People respond to these bids for connection by either engaging with the partner or subtly ignoring the partner. Here are some examples of bids. I think I strained my shoulder at the gym today. Bids can also happen in the middle of an argument, when one person backs down and tries to show understanding and compromise. This is a bid for connection. I've been feeling really frustrated because you never want to come out with me. Like I always have to go to places by myself. You always want to just stay home and be on your computer and be on your phone. Look, you know I'm working 12 hours a day on this project until it's done. Last thing I want to do after a long week is go out with your best friends and gossip all night. This sounds like it's just like a bunch of excuses. I'm sick and tired of me only being the person putting effort into this relationship. Look, I understand where you're coming from. I can, I can see how you would feel that way, but maybe we're just different socially. I mean, you like to go out. I'm more of an introvert. I'm just hearing more excuses, okay? You can see that she missed his bid for connection. Dr. John Gottman researched newlywed couples and found that those who were still married six years later turned toward their partner's bids an average of 86% of the time. Those who divorced six years later turned toward their partner's bids only 33% of the time. Now you might think that responding to a random comment or reciprocating small gestures of affection is not that big of a deal, but it's the little things over time that add up to happiness as a couple. 